Hey guys, it's Jumboy18 here. I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be doing the British Grand Prix of 2013. I'm going to be driving as Paul DeResta because you know I haven't driven him at, for the British Grand Prix before, and I feel that is a good time to do it. So yeah, I'm going to be driving as Paul DeResta. It's going to be 25% um, race, which is a 13 lap race. It's going to be on heavy conditions, um, just to make it exciting, just to build that anticipation, you know of. Who's, who's going to win in Lazio? Yeah. I'm going to put it on to Heavy Rain. Just for the sake of the British Grand Prix. And yeah, let's do this. And um, by the way, I'm not doing the um, track guide thing and all that. Because I've already shown you it um, yesterday. So yeah. Oh, and um, by the way... Um, as you can hear, like some, um, in the background, um, my TV's sort of acting out, uh, acting up a little bit. So apologies if you hear like little crackles of noise and that. So here we go, guys. This is it, the 2013 British Grand Prix, here at Silverstone. So here we go guys, I'm starting in 15th on the grid. And yeah, I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a wet setup, which I think I should um, cope well with. And yeah, let's do this. And also I'm using a cautious fuel setup because I just don't want to... Um, I just don't want to run out of fuel on the last couple of laps if I push really hard. So here we go, guys. So there's Rosberg on pole position. My teammate Nico Hulkenberg and me in 15th. So yeah, let's do this. So here we go. One light, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights. It's lights out. Away we go at Silverstone. Get a good start off the line. I'm side by side with um, Nick Hulkenberg. I'm into 14th place, breaking hard into turn one. Getting boxed out by Felipe Masters. We're heading into the loop section. Breaking hard. Here we go. Will there be any contact? Will there be any contact? Well, there was a bit of it um, for me and um, that sub, but I'm going to use my flashback to um, do that again. So here we go, breaking into the loop. I'm side by side with Kobayashi, and we've got a spinner going on, a little bit of contact, and oh, we got. Uh, I've got to allow a car back pass, and there we go. I do allow them back pass, and um, I don't know the reason why I was. I was. I was acting kind of clean on the first couple of corners, but. I guess that the stewards um, thought that I was just corner cutting on one of the corners, which is perfectly acceptable. Um, so yeah. So now heading into the Luffield section. I'm now in fifth place. I got Maldonado behind me and Schumacher ahead of me. And yeah, if I can get, if I can get into the top ten, that'll be good. That'll be good for my race. If I could get in the top ten. And at the moment, it looks like I'm going to do that really nicely um, because I'm in fifth at the moment. But what I'm going to do halfway through the race is that I'm going to pit um, to um, get onto new wet so that I will be quicker and faster and will like um, um, close up to these guys more better um, than them. But um, it's it, because you know these tyres. Well, I think when I did um, some races in these conditions before. Um, these tyres just went away like on lap 6 or, or lap 7 or something like that so I'm just going to try and um, pit halfway through the lap and then see how far I can get up from there but for now we're up into 5th we're coming into um, the club section I'm taking it nice and cautiously don't want to make any mistakes on the first lap as we're now heading on to lap 2 out of 13 of the British Grand Prix my lap time was a 1 minute 56.7, but I think that will improve, that'll improve um, dramatically as we're heading now into the next corner there. Breaking hard. Into the loop section we go.
Now heading on to the Brooklyn Strait. I've got Maldonado all over the back of me looking to try and challenge for um, fifth place as so I ran a bit wide, but I'm gonna use my flashback. So here we go. So here we go, break it hard into Brooklyn's we go. Take it nice and cautiously. Don't want to do any mistakes. That'll cost me um, loads of time. Coming into cops. Breaking a little bit too early there. I think I broke a bit too early and think that my a little bit my tyres running on the grass now. So yeah. Coming into Maggots, Beckett's, and now Chapel. Coming out of Chapel, now onto the hangar straight. I've now got Maldonado all over the back of me. I've got Felipe Mass all over the back of me as well. As we're now heading into Stowe. Breaking hard into club corner. Oh, running a bit wide there. And now back on to the new Silverstone, um, pit, new pit lane section. Breaking hard into the loop section. And just yeah, trying to pull away from um, Maldonado now, so that's good. Hopefully, um, we oh, as now we got Maldonado having a look down the inside. I'm gonna shut the door and um, and keep fifth place. And there you see, there you see um, right coming out of out of cops there. There you see the leading four there, and I'm starting to drop um, drop back to the leading four. I've really got to start pushing hard to close up to the leading four, even though I'm in a fourth India, you know. Now, coming on to the hangar straight now, I've got... Look, at that. I've got, I think I've got like a, a 10 car pack because I can see like a, a big queue of cars all behind me as we're coming now into Stow Corner. Oh, running a little deep there. Fast, oh. 146.5 is Vettel sets the fastest lap 1 minute um, 43.4 look at that 3 seconds off wow that is so slow for me in the Force India and that's because I'm really struggling in the wet conditions I think it might be my setup that might actually push me a bit back so we're now coming down the main straight down Brooklyn's and now into Brooklyn's corner. Now into Luffield. Oh, running a little, gone on the curb there. I had to do a bit of checking up so I wouldn't go in the gravel trap there. So yeah, that cost me a little bit of time there. So we're heading now into Cops Corner. Breaking hard. As there you see Maldonado looking very feisty to take a fifth place from me. And there, look at that, 11 seconds between me and Schumacher, wow! That Wow, I've got to get on it now. I've really got to start pushing as hard as I can through these next couple of laps before I pit. 
Breaking hard. Oh, riding a little deep there. Oh, as I... Oh, the back end stepping out there. I'm going to use my flashback again. But remember, I've only got one life left, so I've got to be careful throughout the race. So there we go, 146.59 there, breaking hard into turn one. Oh, running a bit deep, oh, making a mistake there. I've got loads of lighter cars behind me there. Coming down Brooklyn. Now coming into um, cops, all oh, breaking a little deep there, going, and I've got now Maldonado all over the back of me. Now as I'm heading into Baggett, now Beckett, now Chapel, and there you see a massive queue of cars behind me. They're all trying to get past me now. But the good news is for these lot, I'll be pitting um, in the lap time just um, to get some new tyres so that I can go a bit quick and hopefully get in the top 10 because that's really what I want for the race. And oh, as we're coming out, as I came out of Stowe there, there you saw um, Maldonado running into the back of my, um, or out, running into the back of my rear wheel. Good news is it's not like real Formula 1 where I get punched and what. Yeah. Coming into Abbey. Now coming into Luff, into the loop. Now breaking hard into this this little Brooklyn's bit. Now coming into Cops Corner. Breaking hard. Running a bit deep there, out of um, chapel there, and now Maldonado is going to get a good run down the straight. Here we go, Maldonado versus Teresta coming into Stowe Corner. I'm going to allow him the position, and he moves up now into sixth place, into um, fifth place. I'm going to pit this lap um, to get some new wet tyres, and yeah, here we go. I'm going to be pitting this lap, and yeah, so here we go. So these guys will be all um, going past me now, as they are now I'm going to go in off into the distance. I'll probably be in last after the pit stop, so yeah. But the question is, will I catch, will I get a tenth or higher? That's the big question. Can I do it on a new set of wet tyres with only, with only six laps to go in the race? Can we do it? So here we go, where do we feed out, where do we feed out, we feed out in 19th, so, so 19th to 10th, and um, the guys are all around in 10th, are now coming into Luffield, so that's where they are now, that's where, that's how much time I've got, I've, I've uh, got to gain, to, um, I've got to, ca um, I've got to close, and um, what is the time, what is the time? 
Well, I'm five seconds, but actually, I'm five seconds. All right, so, so I'm five seconds to peak. So I'm guessing that's probably around 30, 40 seconds now to um, around 10th place. So yeah, I've probably got 30 to, tw uh, to 40 seconds to close them down. See ya. So yeah, whilst we're closing down them, I'm going to be telling you what's been going on in my life. Well, basically, what's been going on in my life, um, uh, not much to be honest, but, well, yesterday I went um, go-karting. I went, I went actually go-karting. I had fun. I had really messed amounts of fun there. Um, I set good times. Um, on the first run, I was absolutely nowhere. I was like fifth. I was thinking I was like second off the best time. And um, th and um, on the second session, I was really surprised. I got um, I, I was really surprised. I got um, second fastest on the um, on the last lap. You know, I was expecting to get um, probably third or second from my first couple of, uh, first couple of laps. Um, so yeah, so yeah, really, really surprised. I got second. I'm really proud of that um, of that time there. I won't forget that time. I really won't forget that time. Um, that time, even though it's all for fun, it, it really was so amazing to get second. So yeah. So yeah, really, really, I had mass amounts of fun, and yeah, I can't wait to do even more stuff. You know, maybe even karting, full full on karting racing. You know, like the full musketeer sort of thing like that. It'd be it'd be nice to do that because you know because you know I've done a couple of um, of sessions in a go kart. Now I'm just like so um I'm so hyped to be doing an actual race. You know, so yeah, I'm absolutely excited to do some racing soon. So yeah, and also on Monday I will be going to Fort Park. Now this is my first time I'm gonna go to Fort Park. Before I used to be a little bit scared, you know, of the rides and all that. But now I'm sort of, I'm I'm through that now, you know, with the experience of karting and the cinema and all that. It's been sort of better in my life, and now, you know, I feel more comfortable with roller coasters. And I can't wait to go on my first roller coaster in a long time. Um, I'll probably go on the sort of racer ones, you know, the ones that that um, probably. Uh, Oh my god, um, you know the ones, you know the racing ones, you know the one where it goes, it goes really fast at the start and then goes up and then goes back down, yeah that's the reason, that's the one I really want to go on, um, also I really want to go on Saw, because it's, a, it's, you know, one of the big, sort of big roller coasters of this decade and, um, yeah, I really want to, um, experience the Saw ride, and yeah, I can't wait to, Go to Fort Park and experience the atmosphere of roller coasters. So yeah, really excited. So yeah. So, Silverstone, the British Grand Prix. That, the race that everyone, well some people, uh, the race that uh, every British driver wants to win. The pinnacle. You know, the British Grand Prix, I think my best British Grand Prix has to be 1991 with Nigel Mansell winning and Senna get hitching a ride with Nigel Mansell. That just, that just was the best Grand Prix because the sun was shining. I know Senna lost, he, he, I know Senna breaking down on the last couple of laps, but it still was great to see those two, you know, having great times with each other on the racetrack with so many British crowds and yeah, that's the Grand Prix I'll never forget and yeah so yeah, that's my best British Grand Prix um, tip for victory I think Webber is going to win here, I think Webber will win at the British Grand Prix, I see I'm side by side with um, Charles Peake I'm going round the outside of Jar Peak, which come, becomes the inside, 
and yes, I'm now up into, into 16th place. Next up is Fernando Alonso. Let's see if we can close him down in, in the Force India. So yeah, um, tip for victory, I think it's got to be Mark Webber because he he's won it. Like he's won, he's won two out of the three races from 2010, and um, he really looks like he could be the dark horse at Silverstone. He absolutely loves this place. You know, he's been really good and talented at this circuit. So yeah, I think in my opinion, it's got to be Mark Webber for the win this year. Yeah. So coming into this uh, Maggots and Beckett's and Chapel section, I'm trying to close down on Fernando Alonso here in the Ferrari. I'm giving it absolutely everything. I just passed Sharpie for 16th. Hasn't really gone the way I expected, but you know, these races happen a lot. So yeah, sucks, but that's the way life is, and yeah. So. If we if we could get thirteenth, that'd be great for the um, for um, for Paul this year. So yeah, our target get a fifth place. So here we go, coming into Abbey, breaking a little bit too deep there, run a bit onto the grass there. Breaking hard into. The loop section, or again, loads of spray from the car behind, which is Alonso. But I'll get a good exit, and can I get alongside Fernando Alonso, the two time world champion, as we are now heading into, into Brooklyn? So right, coming into Cops Corner, getting a good exit. Can I close down Fernando Alonso for fifteenth place? I'm just really trying, but these guys are really making it hard for me today in the British rain here at Silverstone. As we are now heading into Stowe. Now coming on to lap 12. Two laps to go. Can I do it? I'm getting right up close to Fernando Alonso as the train starts to back up. I'm coming into turn one. In, now into turn two. Get a good, so a good, get a good momentum, and I'm now up into a 15th place as I pass Fernando Alonso out of Abbey, and now into the loop. Right, next up. Next up on my list is Ricciardo. As, I'm, as here comes here comes Alonso, Alonso ha having a good decent run on me as we're now breaking into the Brooklyn's hair pit. Now out of Luffield, can I can I close and pass Daniel Ricciardo? Now heading into Maggots, Beckett's and Chapel. Getting good exit there. Trying to really try to get past these guys. I haven't got to I haven't got much time left. I've really got to start getting on it if I want to get the target which is a thirteenth place. 
and always. And we might actually do that because a car, uh, because Ricciardo made a mistake coming into club corner. Uh, coming into club corner. I'm coming down the inside. Oh, I've cut the corner. And now on to the final corner. On to the final lap. I mean. I'm closing up to 13th. I'm really giving it absolutely everything. I'm on the dirt. I'm on the dirt. As we make a mistake, I'm going to use my flashback. And all we got to spare, that's Mark Webber. Mark Webber spun. Mark Webber has spun 360 degrees um, at, out, uh, out of um, loop. Coming into the Brooklyn section, can I get a 12th place on the final lap of the Grand Prix of, of Britain? Now coming into Cops Corner, I'm getting a good run out of Cops. Can I close down on um, Roman Grosjean? Going a bit deep there. I've made a mistake, and here comes Alonso. I'm defending the inside. As they're coming down into Stowe. Get a good exit out of Stowe. Now into Club Corner. And there, and there's, and there's Grosjean. I might get good. And now I'm side by side with Grosjean. And I'm ahead of Grosjean. And I'm up to 12. And what a fantastic pass on the last corner of the last lap for Paul Di Resta. Wasn't quite enough, wasn't quite enough to get a 10th place or higher. But still, a 12th place is still good for the Englishman. So yeah, actually not, for, um, actually not um, the Scottishman. My bad, yeah, Scottishman. And yeah, so here are the runnings. Sebastian Vettel in first, Jensen Button second, Kimi Raikkonen third, uh, Michael Schumacher fourth, Bruno Senna fifth, um, Kumui Kobayashi sixth, Felipe Messi seventh, Nico Rosberg eighth, ninth is um, Lewis Hamilton, tenth is uh, Heike Kovalainen. Nice room, the K-Room driver. Eleventh uh, was Nico Hulkenberg, twelfth was uh, me in um, as Paul Dresta. 13th was Roman Grosjean, 14th was um, Fernando Alonso, 15th was Daniel Ricciardo, 16th was Mark Webber, 17th was Charles Peak, 18th was Sergio Perez, 19th was um, Lorraine Carcan, 20th was Timo Glock, 21st was Vitaly Petrov, 22nd was Pedro De La Rosa, 23rd was um, Jean Eric Verde, and 24th was Pastor Maldonado. So there we go. So there we go guys, thank you very much for watching, see you guys next time, bye bye YouTube.